Hi, this is Sam Drogi with the Bee Inventory Monitoring Lab. Today we want to show and demonstrate how to preserve specimens in hand sanitizer in ways that allow um, people to handle them, to put them under the microscope, and to uh, keep them around for displays. So we want to show you where we're going. Here's three or four examples, I guess. Uh, this first one here is a set of Alga Chlora Pura in hand sanitizer. You can see how nicely they float. Then the next one is um, a set of tiger beetles. And the next one after that is a, um, uh, a worm of some kind. And then the very last one is a nomada a type of parasitic bee. And this is what we're gonna concentrate on. We're gonna concentrate on um, putting specimens into cuvettes because as you can see, the cuvette is very clear, it's square, and it's made of plastic and has lots of good optical qualities. Okay, so what do we need? We need to have a small, um, small syringe for pulling out air bubbles. We'll show that in a second. You need some kind of tweezers. We like these reverse tweezers for holding specimens and dipping them in. You need a batch of specimens. Here are dried specimens, and we'll show how to get dried specimens into hand sanitizer. You can also use specimens, and it's probably a little bit better, that have been in alcohol, but what you can't do is you can't use fresh material. It either has to be dried, or it has to be in alcohol, or the gel in the hand sanitizer is just simply gonna dissolve and you'll just have alcohol in there. And um, you can use any kind of hand sanitizer. These are just hand sanitizers over here that come from the, the store. They all appear to have the same basic formulation. If you can get one without bubbles, that's better. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take some hand sanitizer and usually we just take the entire top off of the jar and we're gonna dump hand sanitizer into some dried specimens. And we're gonna let them soak overnight. Uh, better would actually be to let them soak for several days because what needs to happen is the hand sanitizer has to soak into the specimen and get and replace the air that's inside the specimen. Um, because as you can see from some of our specimens and some of our examples, um, little tiny bubbles of air will come out of the specimen and it just won't look good. It doesn't do anything, but uh, a nice presentation is a specimen in hand sanitizer. It looks like it's floating with no bubbles in it. Okay, so we have a little cuvette here. It's empty. We're gonna take our ketchup bottle with hand sanitizer in it and we are going to pour, and I realize I should have my reading glasses on, but I don't, um, some hand sanitizer in there about halfway up. Then we're gonna get a specimen out of here, out of our soaked, pre-soaked specimens. Let's get a little alga chlora. And we're gonna drop it in there. And we're not gonna worry about positioning it right now. I'm just gonna fill up the tank the rest of the way here with hand sanitizer. And we're gonna put a cap on it. No cap, if it'll, everything will evaporate out. And we're just gonna let that continue to soak because bubbles, as you can see all the bubbles in there, bubbles will continue to come out of the specimen for a while. So we're just gonna let it sit for a week. And then once we have that done, we're gonna come back like this specimen here and we're gonna remove bubbles from there. I'm going to use the syringe. This one has a very narrow tip so it's super handy. And what you do is you depress the bulb of the syringe beforehand, otherwise you're going to add bubbles in, and you move up to the bubble and you suck it out like that. I'm not doing it very well because I can't really see what I'm doing because of the camera, but oops, and then I just added bubbles so that was a negative. But you can you get the, the basic point. You're moving bubbles uh, by inhaling them into the syringe. That's it. And um, once you have uh, the bubbles removed, then you want to add a little bit to the top. You want to completely fill the container with hand sanitizer. If you add some more bubbles at the same time, you can you know how to remove them. And then you're going to do it to overflowing. So you want more than enough. Um, so you add the cap onto the top, get rid of the excess hand sanitizer, and then we have done massive testing as we have found that super glue rather than crazy glue does a better job and a neater job of sealing the edges. So at this point, you can seal the edges around the cuvette 
and the specimen will stay there indefinitely. And, oh gosh, I forgot one thing. So, you can position the specimen prior to crazy gluing by using an extremely thin probe or wire. You can use a paper clip. This happens to be something that um, was a, uh, something used in microbiology, which I forget its name, but you can now move this specimen around however you like um, in the um, hand sanitizer jar by skillfully, which I'm not demonstrating very well, um, using the probe to position the specimen and the wings and the antennae. So you get the point. Um, then after that, after you have it positioned, then you can um, crazy glue the top, or actually no, sorry, super glue the top on. Um, that pretty much makes it indestructible. If you have a particularly heavy specimen, like if you're using some kind of um, of a worm or a heavier bodied insect, if you strike the bottom of the cuvette or something very hard, the specimen will drop. Um, so since you've, you've super glued it, you will have to reverse that process. Otherwise it will just, um, very light specimens will float indefinitely and you can treat them very roughly and pass them out to kids and um, they're uh, pretty much indestructible. The key is not to use any fresh material, otherwise the gel disappears and you know, what's the point? Okay, that's it. Hope you enjoy it. Bye-bye.